Hello, I'm Zeke Solo. Welcome to my channel and to this shave. Today's razor is a razor I've been waiting for for a long time. I was hesitant to get it, uh, but then it came uh, in a beautiful, with a beautiful new handle, and then I just had to get it. So it's this one, uh, the carb aluminium razor, the one called Bison, and this is the glacier handle. I just had to have that. Look at that. The razor is 33. 30, 30, 34 grams. Uh, length of the handle is 89 millimeters or three and a half inches. No overhang, beautiful grooves here to hold, and what you might call kind of a special hat. Uh, I don't know, I haven't tried this, but it's 0.71 millimeter of a gap, and uh, what is it? 0.0 six millimeter, um, I think, in exposure. In the end of this shave, I will compare it to the six, uh, to six other razors that I consider to be in the run for the best uh, aluminum razor, aluminum razor. Um, so hang on to the end and I'll tell you how this is compared to the other six I have lying here on the counter. Uh, at least one of them might be a surprise to you. But let's see how it is. The razor was very kindly bought on my behalf from, uh, by my friend, uh, my brother from another mother, Lou from Canada. Uh, he sent it to me afterwards. I paid for it. Uh, he sent it to me afterwards with a lot of soap samples. And today's sample is the one called Royal Forest uh, that he sent me. Thank you, Lou. Um, is the one that's a uh, treat Avensis dupe and he told me that he just got the original or smelled the original and says that it's spot on and I tell you man I really like the citrusy Mediterranean oh man this is nice and then the cologne thing uh, all in all the brush is of course a blue brush uh, sent to me from Yachi it's my favorite badger brush that's no secret a 24 millimeter high mountain badger, silver tip badger. Uh, the ball is the highly ball from Turkey, of course, in blue as well. There you have them together. Okay, let's get this shave started. I do have my favorite plate in the racer, and that is the Vizimet. And it's on a first use, so. I expect this to be kind of mild, but you know, that is sometimes the, sometimes the case, and then, you know, you get a surprise anyway, so. Ooh, uh, this is nice. Lots of water in this soap. I made an effort to get it as Santa Clausy as possible. Of course, I love when you do the Say you have all bonds free soaps uh, that you make sure to put a lot of water in it, but just little by little, not a lot at a time, just a little. In my opinion, that's where it's best. But your mileage may, of course, vary. So before you see my the other six. Aluminium razors, you may consider which six they are and which one is your favorite aluminium razor. The Glacier, the Bison from Carve. Three days of stubble, by the way. This feels smooth. No dragging, no talking, no nothing, like at least one of the other razors I will show you in the end. No talking, no dragging. Feels like the weight in this is just perfect. The balance point is somewhere around there, and that's where I, I hold it.
I feel where the blade is, but not too much. The ankle is very easy to find. So, if you have a trouble, have some trouble with the overlander's angle. And this might be the solution for you. I think that this angle is a little easier to find. I don't have problems with the overlander, but I know some people have commented on all my overlander videos. Um, this is my 14th uh, car racer. I have eight, I think, seven or eight aluminium ones in this one. Uh, so, a lot of car racers to compare this to and others. So, wait till the end and I'll show you. Do you have a favorite? Tell me. I only brought in here the e races, so I could have brought at least six or seven. Um, well, or what do you call it? Uh, Artist Club races in aluminium. They would be contenders to this. But this is an aluminium uh, DE razor blade compa uh, comparison. Okay, second pass against the growth. This is not a menacing razor. I don't need to be uber careful. It's right there. I like a combination of blade feel and efficiency and the lack of dragging. Handle is a bit short, three and a half inches. Could have been four. Could have been 3.75, like a lot of other makers make theirs. The Aylesworth, Aylesworth one, the Apex, for instance. It's also so a slightly thicker handle. So this is a brilliant razor. I really like this. That's nice. I'm thinking because I'm about to ch compare this to six other races. You know, so I need to take everything in to be able to give you my point of view on this. So, and it just hit me that I forgot to bring the Regis racer in here. I really love that racer that I just got from Reggie. It's from Jonathan over in the UK. And this is it. Not much, left, not much left here. Okay. Okay, Gidobi. Let's wash the face. Not let's us. Let me wash my face. Add a little after shave on the face. Do a little drumming on my cheeks. And then do the comparison. So, have you written down on a note which six you think I'm going to present you with here and compare it to? Oh yeah, wonderful feeling face. 
I don't have any Creed Avengers uh, dupes, I think. So I'm using this, the Black Label one from Razorock that I used with the shave stick. This is more cologne. Has a little more spice. Well, a lot more spice, maybe even. But ah, it works great. It has that uh, citrusy thingy going on at the bottom here. So it works well with the treat adventures. Okay, okie dokie. So, the comparison. The first one, the obvious one, is the Overlander. Here's the Overlander. Um, a little more aggressive uh, in the specs, uh, 0.73, and uh, a little less exposure, uh, 0.05, I think. No, point, oh, sorry, a little more, 0.007, uh, or thereabout it is. Uh, handle a little longer, it's a little heavier. Um, to me, this is a better right? Well, this gives me a better shave, that's what I meant to say. I, I like this, but I prefer this between the two. Um, another one, the carp, uh, Christopher Bradley, here with the red uh, base plate with the C plate in it. I prefer uh, the C plate to this because it's, it's more efficient. Uh, and I really, really, really love the feel of this racer. So to me, this is a better racer. I prefer the longer four inch handle also, but I must say the knurling on this is the best I've felt on a car racer. And I need to remember to say that because I have, as I told you, 14 different ones. Uh, let me see. I need to put these back where I took them. And then another obvious one that's pretty new is the Apex, Allo Apex. Uh, 0.70, so a little uh, milder in the gap, uh, but I like this handle. It's not as good as, as the Bison handle. Uh, I mean, not as grippy, but it looks fantastic as does this. And then it's 3.75 inches long. So, I prefer that. Uh, the feel of the shave, they are about the same, I would say. Uh, I know I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, I should be picking this over the other, but to me, the feel of the shave is about the same, and so is the result. So no clear winner there. Okay, one of the most sold aluminum razors in the world um, is this one. Uh, it's uh, the much heavier, uh, actually a lot heavier, uh, aluminium Henson razor with a 3.745 inch uh, handle. So longer again. Uh, I like the knurling on this, but this one wins on the knurling. This has about the same efficiency, even though the gap is higher than this one is. Uh, of these two, I prefer this. I mean the feel on the face. Uh, I prefer the longer handle, but that's always the case with me. And then one of my absolute favorite and maybe my favorite uh, racer, the, t uh, the Timeless Aluminium Racer with the scalloped head. I really, really, really love this much thicker handle with the waist, uh, but the same length handle. Uh, the knurling on this is about as good as this, so they are equal. This is a little more efficient to my face. So in terms of the shave, I prefer this, but it's a close call. And then finally, my favorite aluminum racer is a brand not made anymore. It's the Above the Tie um, SB90, uh, the Windsor Pro. Uh, so here you have it. Uh, aluminum racer, uh, three and a half inch handle. Knurling, not quite as good, it's okay, but not quite as good as this, because this is one of the best. Only the timeless handle has the same good grip as this does. Uh, but this is my favorite, but it's a 0.90 millimeter, so it's quite of an unfair comparison, uh, maybe you might say. But that, there it is. So, of all the six, this is, let's see, 
Uh, one, two, three. This is third or fourth. Um, it's kind of cheating a little to put it uh, below the Christopher Bradley because you have uh, a ton of of uh, base plates to pick from. Uh, but I would say if I put the B plate on the Christopher Bradley, I would prefer this. So this is a, a third or fourth place. My number one is the SP90, uh, the Windsor Pro from um, above the tie. My number two is my uh, timeless aluminium racer with a 0.45 uh, millimeter blade gap. And this is third or fourth. Uh, because of the handle, it's a close call. It's it's you know it's a, a finish, a photo finish uh, to see this. These are all great races, uh, but this is third or fourth or thereabout. Okay, enough of me mumbling. Thank you for watching this far. Tell me below of all these seven races, do you have any of them? Which one do you prefer? Um, and tell me why. Let's do the sound test. That's perfect, the mundo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo, out.